Hi there, it's Beth from Roots and Wings Energy, and today I want to share with you the daily energy routine. This was developed by Donna Eden, and it can be done in five to 10 minutes or less, and it's really built to touch on um, many of our energy systems to keep things flowing and moving, and the results are cumulative. So as you do this, you build new um, positive habits in your energy field. So I'm gonna start um, with the four thumbs, and right here on your cheekbones. I'm just gonna take you through the whole thing here. And this is a wonderful um, place to start because it starts with the grounding. We're connecting here with the stomach meridian. And it's right here below your eyes, just tapping here about 10, 15 seconds. And don't forget to breathe. And then we move to the second thumb of the four collarbones down out about an inch. And you can tap here or massage deeply. This is the K27 point, last point of the kidney meridian. And this helps our energies move forward, helps with our vitality and our essence. Um, kidney um, has a lot to do with our energy and how much energy we feel we have. Okay, and then to the middle of the sternum here, this is the thymus thumb. So the thymus gland is um, in this location and this helps to build our immune system, um, kind of wakes things up. Anytime you're tapping an energy point, you're waking that system up and helping it to come alive and so it has space to move and flow. Okay, and then the fourth thumb, you're gonna come down from your armpits about four inches or so, and um, this is the spleen meridian thumb, or thumbing thumb on a spleen meridian point. And this helps with our metabolism. Um, and the spleen is the nurturer of our body. So and metabolism of our day, our thoughts, our experiences, our food. Um, so giving the spleen a thump gets things moving. Okay, and then next is um, to, to help with crossovers in our body. So grab your shoulder here, some pressure, and then you're gonna rake across your body to your opposite hip. So you're kind of really making contact here and this is the crossover shoulder pull. And this is encouraging cross, um, crossovers in your body of energy, habits, and many things are crossing in the body um, to make connections and to have flow happen. So we're gonna start with the crossover shoulder pull here. It feels actually really good. And help with that shoulder tension. You kind of dig into that muscle there. And then to reinforce that, we're going to do the cross crawl. So this is again integrating crossover patterns throughout the body. And each exercise, um, and I'm kind of figuring my arms as I do this, hitting at the opposite knee and the cross crawl. Um, each of these exercises, you know, take your take your time with them and see, but you don't need to to um, spend a long time and um, they're, they're simple yet potent. So um, experiment with them as, as you go along. Okay, 15, 30 seconds works really well. And of course we're breathing. Okay, the next one is the um, Wayne Cook posture. And this was a um, tribute to um, a pioneer in the field of connecting body and mind. It was originally developed for stuttering and Donna has modified it a bit. But you're gonna take, I'm sorry, I should show you. Hands back to back, put one hand over the other, doesn't matter which, clasp your hands and roll them towards your chest. And then cross one foot in front of the other. And here you're gonna breathe. At least two or three times. This hold, uh, this exercise helps with centering yourself, grounding, helping that scatter brain feeling come, come back to uh, the center line. If you're feeling emotional outbursts and you just need to come back to yourself, this is a really good exercise for that. I use it. Okay, after three or four breaths, then you're gonna take your hand and flip the other one over the top and cross the other leg over. And then again, breathe here. So for that scrambled brain, this exercise is really helpful.
or you're just going to start a project or read something and you just need a break from your computer work. All right, and the last part of it is here. Uh, put your hands in a steeple and then right here in the bridge of your nose. Take another breath or two and then you're going to take your fingers and then put them in the center of your forehead and pull them across with some pressure. Okay, and that leads us in, right into the next one, which is the crown pull. And so you're gonna again, you're gonna imagine the center line in your head here, and you're gonna pull apart at that center line. And this is really to release stuck energy in your head. So you can go up to your hairline here. And you can go all the way down to your ears, or you can just do the seam here and just pull it apart. Um, whatever feels good to you. And you're doing that all the way in the back as well. And give your neck a pull too. But that really releases stuck energy in our heads. We tend to get stuck there a lot. And allowing energy to flow. So now we're gonna create some more space in the system. So you're gonna rub your hands together, shake them off, and ground yourself. And then take a deep breath in. Come to your heart center. And this one you're gonna stretch one arm up, um, flat hand, and then the other arm down, flat hand. This is called connecting heaven and earth. And you're gonna really have that full stretch. And back to center. And then the other side is a really nice stretch to, and it allows the, I, I think of the bottom hand releasing what I don't need and the top hand bringing what I do need. So really have that full stretch there and back to center and then end with a forward fold. So you just fold here, let your body hang, you can have soft knees and then figure eight your way up. So, and there. And then um, last two is the zip up. So there's a center line here that we're gonna go from the pubic bone and then zip all the way, including the throat to the bottom lip. And I just do a little walk there and you can do it a couple of times. Or you can come all the way out to the aura like this. And another zip here and lock. Okay, and the last one, take two middle fingers and that one, um, put one in your belly button and one here in your third eye and you push in and pull up. So this is kind of helping everything settle in, all the hard work we did with our energy systems. Kind of help it all set in with this grounding pull of the hookup. And bring it all back in. And there you have it. That's the daily energy routine. And I hope you give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Bye-bye.